Hello, everyone. My name is Janelle Johnson, and I am a recent graduate from the Department of Biology at Howard University. The title of my article is Apamine Enhancers Neuroid Outgrowth and Regeneration After Laceration Injury in Cortical Neurons. This article was published in August of 2021 by the Jassing Spine and Joint Research Institute. To begin, apamine is a polypeptide primarily found in bee venom. It is said to be the cause of the first symptoms you experience after bee venom enters your system. It is classified as a neurotoxic compound that has the ability to block potassium channels, but recent studies have suggested that its benefits extend far beyond that. Apamine has been shown to enhance neuronal excitability, synaptic plasticity, and organ potentiation in the hippocampal region. It also has protective effects on dopamine neurons, which makes it effective in neurodegenerative research for conditions such as Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. The authors aim to address the gaps in knowledge regarding apamine's effect on mature cortical neurons by investigating the neuroregenerative effects of apamine on enhancing neurite outgrowth and axonal regeneration after laceration injury. The other objectives of the study were to determine the viability of apamine as a therapeutic agent for CNS diseases and further investigate the pathophysiological mechanisms of neurite outgrowth and axon regeneration. The study used a variety of methodologies, including immunochemistry, PCR, neuronal viable assays, and Western blotting to investigate the effects of apamine on neurite outgrowth and regeneration. The neurons used in the study were primarily cortical neurons obtained from rat embryos that were cultured in a neuronal culture medium. The neurites were then mechanically wounded and treated with apamine at a range between 1 and 10 micrograms, and then fixated for a period of 24 or 48 hours. The authors then observed regenerated axons from the borderline at the lacerated area using immunocytochemistry. The results found were compelling. The apamine treatment increased axon growth beyond the borderline 24 hours post-laceration injury. A high dose of apamine of about 10 micrograms had a greater effect on axon growth and the total mean and maximum neurite length. This indicates a significant increase in neurite outgrowth within a dose-dependent manner, which is depicted in figure 1, letters C through E. In figure 1F, the authors examined that apamine promotes F-actin expression and induces a significant increase in the intensity of F-actin within the lacerated area in a dose-dependent manner. The authors also investigated changes in the expression of growth-associated genes to better understand the mechanisms underlying this improved neurite outgrowth and axon regeneration after apamine treatment. The genes expression levels of BDNF and NGF, both neurotrophic factors that aid in neuronal stem cell differentiation, were increased in the apamine groups compared to the blank groups. The regeneration-associated genes NF200 and GAP43 were increased in the apamine groups, showing a significant difference between the blank and the apamine groups, which is depicted in figure two. These results suggest that the optimal therapeutic dosage for apamine should be between 1 and 10 micrograms for neurite extension and outgrowth. Apamine as a standalone treatment has been shown to increase gene expression in BDNF and NGF, as well as an increase in NF200 and GAP43. This is the first study to report apamine as a promising agent for axonal regeneration, promoting neurotherapy without neurotoxicity. The limitations of the study that I found were that the authors could not observe the extent of the effects of apamine due to being limited to the lacerated area. The study also did not account for adverse reactions to apamine or bee venom that could arise in humans due to the immune system's natural response to foreign substances. Future studies should examine the therapeutic effects of apamine in neurological animal models. My personal reflections on the paper is that it's a great foundational point to build on in vitro modeling for neurodegenerative disorders, as there is yet a viable non-invasive model to observe these conditions. The paper generates evidence-based support for the potential use of bee venom and apamine as pharmacotherapy for patients who suffer from memory or mobility disorders. I would like to see future studies of apamine in a similar region of neuroscience, multiple sclerosis treatments, due to its ability to selectively control the S-channels, which could be beneficial for prolonging action potential and improve mobility for MS patients. In closing, the authors and this study have proven that apamine is effective to enhance neurite outgrowth and regeneration after laceration injury in cortical neurons. This concludes my presentation, and I thank you for your time.